Let's go. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Three taunts and a rusher. All with the immune. Let's go, baby. <laughs> I know you guys have heard of Death Rattle Demon Hunter, but in this video, we're playing Death Rattle Hunter. And we're playing this deck to make use of one of the new cards from the Wailing Caverns mini set, the Devouring Ectoplasm. This guy actually has a lot of really good synergy in Hunter as well. So we can play like Carrion Studies on one to discount it and then play the Ectoplasm on turn two, or we can play the Ectoplasm on turn three and then copy that with a Machnathal Lion. Then we do also have some pretty other sweet synergies in here as well too. We have the Trim Crescent to give all of our stuff immune while they're attacking so we can get some good trades in right before we break them with the Death Rattle. We do also have Terran Gorfine and Vectus to get some pretty juicy Death Rattle synergy that way as well. And we do also have a really nice late game. So we are running Nazoth in this deck so we can get back a bunch of stuff as a late game bomb, similar to like a Death Rattle Demon Hunter. So we get back a mech, which is the Dark Moon Tonk. We got the Burning Blade Acolyte to give us that 5-8 demon. We get back the Quillbore, which is the Death's Head Cultist, and a Beast, which is like a Python or Lion or something like that. And we are also running the Sarcus Amalgam just so we can get back one more thing with the Nazoth. And of course, in any Death Rattle Hunter deck, we are running the Jewel of Nazoth as well. Just kind of like Nazoth, we're running this as a big late game stat bomb. But with all these Death Rattles, and with all the late game refill that we have, this is like the stickiest deck I've ever played. And it is very fun to play. I hope you guys enjoy this deck as much as I have. If you do, then let me know by leaving a like down below. That really does help me out a lot with YouTube algorithm. And this deck, like every other deck on this channel, I do create myself in a never net deck. So if you want to see the most creative, unique off meta decks you can't see anywhere else on YouTube, then subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind later. But let's hop into the action. Stay funky. True aim. Oh, this is actually really good. So you're gonna get true aim, egg, lion. I think I do like the cultist here too. This is really good. This is really good. I'm gonna keep this whole hand. Yeah, so we gotta go, yeah, egg. Coin lion smack into something, maybe? Perfect curve, dude. This is really the perfect curve, yeah. I'm in love with this curve. I could, like, hit. No. Actually, you know what? This might not be a bad, like, Death Side Cultist next turn. It's, yeah, it's happening. This is happening. But uh, how's the wife, Zenith? How's the wife and the fur babies? So I guess we're chilling here. It's gonna be annoying for the breaking point, the four health versus their three attack. I could even like hit, so this attacks and this attacks. Yeah, I want the four four on the board. Let's get this dude uh, popped. Spell damage, cool. It's probably the worst one for them. They don't have any spell damage. Ooh, we are at 22, but we do get four health back from this. Yeah, we'll just go in with this burning blade. We're doing great. Fur babies are getting big. Zenith, you should post some uh, updated pictures in Discord. Curious to see how big they're getting. All right, next turn. Next turn, you're gonna make two five eight demon spawns. It's probably just like a lion plus tracking turn. Oh dang, they're playing it uncorrupted. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Another true aim and a Rindley's rifle. Wow, that was like the one thing we do not want. Uh, all right, I guess are we tracking first? See what we can find. Oh, there's the cream though. Oh, that'll actually be really good. Make some good trades. Jewel of Nazoth? Hmm, gets back a couple of these dudes. I think it's probably just the cream though. Huh? Something like this. Something like this and this. 
Take two damage here. Nice. All right, we got some big taunty boys. They have not discounted their Inquisitors. So they're still two turns away from Inquisitor. They're still one turn away from their uh, Death Speaker. Yeah, next turn we got a really good Kreen coming up. Do they have any rushers? I guess they could like kill one of these dudes, but they can't kill both of them. Right? All right, they shouldn't be able to kill both. Hopefully not. Oh my goodness. Maybe. If they have a, a fell rattler, I guess they could kill both. Oh man. Like trade this guy in, fell rattler, trade, trade, redevelop that. Holy cow, they actually could. Say it ain't so. Okay. <laughs> All right. Woo. I was uh, a little worried there. Oh, man. This is making it difficult, though, because now I want to do the Circus Amalgam here, too. I mean, that's probably just better, right? That's got to be better. And just go face here. Face is the place. I could, I suppose I could have actually done the one damage there because I have some other weapons in hand. Now there's the Death Speaker, probably get some rushers. There's one rusher, there's two rushers. Yep, so they might get a full clear here. Okay. Yeah, good turn, good turn. All right, Vectus. Ooh, the Vectus. Ooh, baby. We are going to be cutting it close. Okay, give me the Death Head Cultist. Perfect. Okay, give me Jewel, maybe? I mean, Nazoth gives me back the demons, right? If we can la last for two more turns. Okay. Yeah, I like it. I don't know, sure. Come on. Just don't have the Inquisitor. Ooh, nice. Okay, that was good for them. You can make some really good trades here. Huh? I mean, we also have Arcreen, so... Nice, they can't actually break that now. Probably just go face here, yep. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Give me like a taunt here. Yes, oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's actually perfect. Nice. Then does that cultist, we kind of want the healing too, right? Yeah, I want this to die. Actually, yeah, yeah, no, this works. Okay, yeah, yeah, this works. We want to kill that, dude, for sure. Punch into here. So this trades. Okay, can, oh my gosh. Can we turn this around? Can we turn this around? Okay, here's the Inquisitor. Yep. Well, I guess I could go face if they like do a double trade. I wonder if they do a double trade. Huh? You know what the last card is? Yeah, this is gonna be a huge Nazoth. This is gonna be a massive Nazoth here. Game winning. We go face, we take nine damage, we're at nine, but then we get a cool board back again. Oh, uh. let's go. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> three taunts and a rusher, all with the mune. Let's go, baby. <laughs> let's go. Another priest? Well, here we go. Here we go.
Wanted a quick game? Plays Priest. Every time, dude, every time. Does that, does that ever happen to you guys? I swear, like, whenever I say quick game, like, Blizzard hears me and it cues me up against Priest. I don't know how, but it does. Like, last night, I was cooking dinner. And I'm like, you know what? While I'm like checking and stirring the food, I'm just gonna play a quick game of Hearthstone. Guess what I queued up against? That's right. Murloc Priest? Wait, what? Wait, hold up. Rise Vendor? Mill Priest? Maybe. <laughs> I guess so. Right? Like. Prize vendor, they just raise dead this dude over and over again and mill you, I guess. But then they also mill themselves too. Huh? <laughs> <sighs> uh -huh. Do you even get maybe like a true crescent here? Um. Next turn, I gotta go Terran on the egg. Hmm. You know, I love off stream too, just fiddling with my decks, you know? Just fiddling with my deck off stream until it starts working. Dang, Kakashi. Dang, dude. That's insane. All right, that poison dude needs, that poison dude needs to die. He needs to die. I kind of want to tear in here. I guess I could also like Circus Amalgam. That's not bad, I suppose. We don't need to get too greedy with the lion. I want to develop something. Just the way they, they can't play like proactive here. They always have to re react to my minions. I always got to make sure that like, I'm doing something. I mean, it sounds like it's going pretty well with you so far. Going 21 and 0. Dang, dude. You should remove your tempo or their tempo while developing yours. Yeah, I heard from somebody that was generally a pretty good game plan. I heard from a wise man. Okay, I mean, at least they're not gonna uh, apotheosis this. Hmm. I don't really want any of these here. I want like my big stuff, Jewel and Nazoth. I guess we tracking into tracking. <laughs> sure. Give me Jewel and Nazoth. Mancrick, I guess, is good with the Brocken hands. We'll take that. Like, turn seven, we can go Tong, turn eight, maybe like Mancrick, Barak, or something. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> They'll usually just raise dead, get more Samuros, dude. They'll raise dead everything. You can never play around just one thing in Priest. It's so annoying. It takes away a large skill in the game, which is hand reading. And their entire hand is random. And when you have to play around five copies of every card in their deck, hand reading all of a sudden does not become a skill anymore. So you just got to play your own game plan and you're just like playing against yourself. It's like playing against the computer. Um, you're just playing your own cards and you're not even worrying about what they do. <laughs> yo, Kakashi redeemed the gifted sub. Yo, absolutely. Oh, we, we play the one on top. Oh, we always play the one on top here. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Enjoy those emotes. We get a lot more emotes coming. We got 10 emotes on the way. Oh, son of a gun. Son of a gun. That's fine. We got another Tonk. Joke's on them. Jokes on them. Unless they have another silence. Oh man, please don't. Yeah, this is a lot of development. We also get to draw, what, two cards? There you go. Yeah, 19 months? Oh my gosh, Kakashi. That's insane. I appreciate all the support over the years. 
I do have two weapons in hand here, so I think I do punch him. Can't believe Oma Yogg hasn't been nerfed. Imagine a one mana counter spell, right? Yeah. Well, I'm pretty lucky to have the resources to play around five copies of water. Exactly, yeah. Playing as priest, see that's the problem though, is playing as priest is fun, playing against it is not. It's very polarizing in the fun aspect of it. I think Death Metal Demon Hunter is like the epitome of a good, well-made archetype. You know, they don't have a lot of generation. You know what to play around, so hand reading is a thing. Everything is very board-based. You know, you really fight for tempo on the board. Fun to play against, fun to play. Um, is this lethal? Oh no, it's not! Oh fuck! Oh, I'm an idiot! Oh, I'm an idiot. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Well, you didn't see that. Nobody saw that. I thought I could squeeze a hero power in for some reason, but you know, you know. We're just going for the delayed BM. That's all. <laughs> Agreed. I'm good with Death Rail Demon Hunter. Ah, there we go. See, we won anyways. They could apotheosis this because we had a freezing trap, so got him. Yeah, so I love archetypes like that, where they're very board based. You can play around them. Yeah. I think Death Rattle Demon Hunter is broken. Illidari Inquisitor. Yeah, Illidari Inquisitor is very strong. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. It's maybe a little bit too strong, but I like the idea of the deck. I think it's a very, it's still a fun deck to play and play against, even if it may be just a little bit overtuned. Turn three, five, seven. I mean, I'll take that. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Does Death Rattle Demon Hunter have any bad matchups? Demon Hunter, Death Rattle. Okay, so Diamond of Legends. All right, so looking at Death Rattle, Demon Hunter. Um, yeah, um, Druid is a bad matchup. Face Hunter is a bad matchup. Shaman is a bad matchup. Rogue is also a bad matchup. So yeah, I mean... Death Rattle, Demon Hunter still does have a lot of counters to it. Glowfly Swarm. Wait, what? Five cards? Wait. What? I think it a bloom. Oh my gosh, they're going all in on Guardian Animals here? <laughs> well, they have to trade everything into this dude, so I guess I'm still okay with that. Nice, okay. <laughs> yeah, they still trade everything in. Oh my gosh. Okay, then. Okay. Mm, ingenuity gets us what python lion yeah it's probably just ectoplasm here we'll go for the safe play because like we go burning blade accolade on five then we go like what ectoplasm plus terran on six into a tonk on seven yeah let's follow a good curve here i mean they're so overloaded they can't do anything they did draw a couple cards from that though and they thin their deck which is good they didn't have any ramp though which is Amazing for us. Gotta kill that. Nice, the poison, <laughs> yo. <laughs> That's what we like to see. They're probably gonna ramp here. Yep, yep, yep. They're not gonna kill the one one, are they? They kind of get punished either way. They kind of get punished if they don't or they do. Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna go all in here on the Terran. Get back a 2-2 two, two and a 5-8. Uh, how did... Wait, 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 wait. So this was played 
first, so it's on the left side, right? Okay, so maybe we should have positioned the Terran on the right? For like guardian animals position here? Okay, I don't think it really matters though, but... I want the Terran to die, I think. Pack tactics. Okay, open the cages is going to be really good. Maybe get like a huffer from it. Huh? Uh, I'm really afraid of like, no, I guess I'm not really afraid of like bloom survival here. I was thinking about like Bloom Survival, they play like a big strong man, but I'm not even really afraid of that. <laughs> nice, they have one beast in deck, which means they're all in their hands. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. There's the strong man. So open the cages. Okay, give us a huffer. Give us Leoc or Huffer. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really want any of these. Right in the face. Freezing might be good if they want to like broom into something. Probably another open the cages though. Because right, if they go like Thresher broom, they're going to attack with a broom to test for the freezing trap anyways. Might as well just go open the cages here. Okay, so I already used both guardian animals here. They can't survival. So the only way they come back here is like what? Broom plus a Thresher? We have so much damage on the board. I'm pretty sure we got it. I never played Demon Hunter before the mini set, but played Death Rattle version, the legend, had a ton of fun. Nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a very fun deck to play for sure. Okay, nice. Okay, I wonder if I even kill off my own Kreen now. So that way I can run the Tonk into this dude? I think I actually do that. This maybe gets us Lion. Uh, do we want to go something like this here? This has got to be lethal. This... Now we kill this guy off. So this guy dies. Got him. Got him. Yo, wow, what a powerful game. <laughs>